Now Matt's using these snails here, which are three and a quarter inch. Keep them straight and pretty, you know? There you go. Straight and pretty. Gonna make it straight and pretty. Hey! Is he here? Nate Dog! What's up? All right, Nate, quick guess. Are we gonna be short on the deck boards? And if we are, how, many, how much uh, do you think we're gonna be short by? No, just like it shows there. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. mate. Welcome to the new digs. This is the temporary pad that we've got while we're renovating the other house. It's got almost everything on my wife's list. You know, we've got lots of storage and bedrooms and the basement. That's cool, but the backyard's atrocious. So I promised her, I said, you know, the location's perfect. It's not a long drive to go to the house to go to work. So it made a lot of sense moving here. But we're outdoor people. Like we just, we were coming from an acre, right? We needed a backyard. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna make a quick little floating deck, it's, it's gonna be real simple, but it's gonna be a huge transformation as far as the backyard and our lifestyle, because we don't like being cooped up in the house. So we're gonna just put on a quick platform and we're gonna get on with it. I got both my sons coming here today to give me a hand, which is kind of nostalgic, really, because we started off the channel with, Nate helped me build the deck, and then Matt jumped in and he started working with me and helped me building the house. It's gonna be kind of a family affair today, so it's kind of cool. I guess what's that thing, uh, the, the family that renovates together stays together? That's what we're up to, hope you enjoy this. All right, so here's the plan, dude. We're just doing 10 by 12. Um, the inventory at the store was really brutal. We're having supply chain issues, so it's going the opposite of what we're normal. Okay. So it's 10 on the short side, and then 12 foot joists. So, so a perimeter have, box. Yeah, but we gotta have the six supports in it, right? Gotcha. So it's relatively flat here. We'll just build the frame, and then we'll lift it up and put it on the, on the supports, and then we'll level it off from there using just some shims and stuff, okay? Cool. And then we're gonna deck it. And Are we we'll probably- digging any holes for the cinder blocks at all today or no? No, I got the landscape cloth that's already sitting here just under a sheet of gravel. So we'll go with the blocks and then we'll, we'll just jack everything up to the lowest point. Cool. Okay, I got yep. some two by fours here. We can just put some posts on. And then we're gonna build a landing box out here out of the leftover wood because it's gonna be a little higher. And are we having the stairs come off this side or are they just gonna transfer into the- one We're gonna leave right? the stairs the way they are. I mean, we're just renting. Right? I'm just getting mom out of the dirt so well, she can have somewhere to have dinner outside. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try to... We should up it a little bit, I'm make just, it a little more I'm lavish. Just, we'll put some potted plants on there. That's... <laughs> sure, if you want to. All right, so this will only take us, what, an hour and a half, two hours? Nate's going to come over and help under screwing down those surface boards. Uh-huh. All right, so we'll just knock this off, and then we can have lunch. Cool. Awesome. Sounds like a good day. Go team. Ow. God, he's strong. All the way to the back. Well, one on each side, right? So, put that one down on your left hand. It's going that way, swing oh, that over here. this way. Short side and then long side. Yeah, we start getting a feel for this, okay? Let's get the feet. This is why I'm saying the blocks are in the wrong spot right now. That's all right. Okay. We're doing two. Yeah, when I brought these uh, back here from the garage, or from the, the driveway, yeah. they were super waterlogged and just heavy as you can imagine. Pull back here. Are we doubling up on the perimeter? No. Pull that board out, make room to lay everything inside, and then we can frame it all together. There you go. Right? So... Just lay them in. Just lay them down. Oh, these are the joists? We're just bringing it all over here. Okay. Okay, two things I want to know. If you grab your tape, actual measurement on each of these boards. How long ago? Actual measurement yes. of the room joist? Nope, actual measurement of the 12, please. This is what goes inside the, the two by tens. Man, a 10 footer really looks like a 12 footer sometimes, doesn't it? I'm looking at 12. I got 12 and an eighth. And an eighth. Make sure they're all the same. If they all milled out the same, we're laughing. If not, we got to customize them. 12 and an eight. 
So far, so good. I'm gonna just follow laws of probability and, do, probability and do three, and bank that the other two are gonna be correct. No, we're gonna measure them all. So we build the square deck. We're still good. We make a, hey! Is he here? Nate dog! What's up? All right. How you feeling? Thanks for joining us, bud. Yeah, cool. Blue, 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 and gray. We're uh, almost matching. Almost got a color scheme going on. You gotta come in with a bang. No, it's good to see you, bud. Dad, this guy was showing me his little like bracelet setup and ring setup and things the other day. Oh, yeah? He literally looked exactly like Zohan when he was coming here. Don't mess with the Zohan. He had like this button-up shirt and it was blue, orange. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the, the biggest. guy has rings on and stuff with the clippers. <laughs> and the... Good times. I've got the biggest. This is just me putting something together that my wife can have dinner on. And I'm gonna leave it here like a piece of furniture. So when I'm done renting, this this will just stay. I don't care. Yeah, as long as I don't attach to the house, it's just a piece of furniture exactly. that I left behind for the homeowner or the homeowner to deal with. And they'll be more than happy to have a deck instead of dirt. Yeah. I mean, Unless they want to plant some Chinese onions. <laughs> it's half gravel, half dirt, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I don't have to like wheelbarrow gravel back here to cover up my cloth. Yeah. All right, now we're using two by eights. And the reason I like using two by eights for deck is because that's the same height as any step. So your, your body's very used to an eight inch step. So when you use a two by eight, you get a seven and a quarter inch board plus the top finishes runs you around the eight, eight and a quarter inch area. And generally speaking, that's very normal and natural and you're not gonna have tripping hazards. So the other thing you can do is when you're using two by eights, is you can make multiple platforms and stack them and build something huge and elaborate, all out of the same material. So everywhere you go, it's the same step as when you come outside or go upstairs to your bedroom. You're not gonna have any issues. Okay, here. You know what crown, right? You know crown. I taught you that. Oh, I just almost dislocated my index finger. Crown up. Okay. Okay, upside is this gonna be towards the house, okay? No, put it in the bloody arrow on it, please. What we're looking for is crown. Matt, I just gotta check this one. Wow, that one's going this way. And I just put an arrow on it. Generally, I always want the crown up, and then under the weight of people and furniture and that sort of thing, it'll, if it sags, it'll, it'll sag flush. If you have a hammer, and a measuring tape, you can build a deck. You want one fastener for every two inches of dimensional lumber. Can we just use the nail gun? We're gonna in a second. Oh, now you're gonna mark it out? Yeah, I'm gonna show people how to mark it. Okay, I'll mark out the other side then as well. Okay, I'm just gonna go from the end and mark the 16s. Okay, and then go to the left side, or the further away. To the backyard of the house? I'm starting like X here. On the far side. I'm marking my squares. So you're going X to the right, X to the left. Just like it shows there. Gotcha. Gotcha, mate. Every 16 inches, there'll be a red square. It's just way too easy. So you make a line on your board, and you mark to the side of that mark. Okay, there's my 48 mark. And you do the same on both sides, and that'll keep everything nice and square. Just keep an eye on where your crown is, so I mark the arrows. The next option, of course, you'll have a framing nailer. If you want to build it quick, the nailer is definitely the best option. I need you to roll that board up. I'm pushing everything over that way. I can't do the rest of this this close to the building. Just get it out of the way for now. <clears throat> Move some boards, help me out, dude. Just the last extension piece. And Matt's using these snails here, which are three and a quarter inch. They're a little smaller than the nail that I drove in with the hammer, but they're hardened steel and they carry the same structural load.
So a little trick I learned uh, when I was framing houses, you use that little claw on the back of your hammer when you got a bore that's twisted like this. Right now if I nail it in, it'll just be twisted and my nails will be like on an angle. So you use your claw, you put it on top, and you just rotate it up, completely flat, a uh, 90 degree angle, and then you can nail them in. You keep them straight and pretty, you know? There you go. Straight and pretty. Gonna make it straight and pretty. <laughs> Time for a new hammer? <laughs> <laughs> I missed it! There we go. So once you've got your frame nailed together or screwed together or however you're going to put it together, you just want to make sure that A, it's in the right position and check your level. Now, if I want to level this, oh, this one comes up like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. It's easy. Mm. That one comes up another inch and a half. That's easy. Mm -hmm. That one comes up like three inches, whatever. Okay. If I put it on blocks, I'm going to be at least six inches higher off the ground. I have a six foot level. I like to use it. If you're doing a quick, simple ground level deck like this, you don't have to go through all the hassle of digging holes and putting in blocks and leveling it out. It's designed for uh, load transfer. Transfer the weight back to the ground. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's really quick and stupid, but it works like a charm. So Matt, the idea here is this. Take the nailer, right? Or take the screwdriver. We'll two screws, I think. Okay. And we'll just tie a screw into the block. And then when it's done, we'll, we'll go by and throw some nails in. Uh. Right? Okay. I thought you were cutting out spaces or something. No. Nope. Really short. No. Nope. Yeah. No, it's okay. Cool. All right. We'll grab your level. So and maybe the best way to do this is just do one corner. Twenty-one and three eighths. You're twenty-one, eh? What are you at? Twenty-one and a quarter. Here, twenty-one and a quarter. I'm at twenty-one and three eighths. That's so close. It's not even worth fussing. So what we want to do is put the level on this and level off that piece, okay? Lift this up a little bit until I like it. And then Matt's gonna drive that screw from the, se the separate block into that lumber. And that's gonna transfer the load to the ground. And once we get it all leveled off, we'll come back with the nails and we'll fire in a bunch of nails to give it the strength that we need. Okay. Are those nails coming through the other side? Yep. Don't do that side then? Yeah. Go the other way. The reason why I'm nailing in from the back side this time, we nailed in from the inside and their nails were protruding out. You don't want anyone to cut themselves when they're running by, so we're gonna have to denail those and do it again. Just for good measure. Uh, we can. Okay, hang on, Matt. From the top on, on an angle down, you'd be fine. Yeah. Right? There's only sticking out a quarter, so. You're good. And then run all the middle blocks, okay? Yeah, it does. It makes positive contact. If it was installed right. What the hell I'm is that? You, I'm telling you they were, but there's gravel there. I was pushing down on it. This oh. one. Like they all, it well, doesn't do anything. Well, not making contact with the ground. It, How they did you all are, Dad. I was pushing down and then nailing. Had to be close enough, I guess, eh? If the measurement from corner to corner is the same, then it's square. 189 and a half. 190. <laughs> So all I'm going to do is just give this a tug this way a little bit. <sighs> Problem solved. Some areas, every deck is going to have to be attached to the ground. But the point is this. In my area, if I don't attach this to the house, it's not structural. I can build it any way I want. There are no rules, okay? So, 
all you have to do is remember this. You have to use good building practice, which means you have to use the right amount of fasteners to put things together. You have to use some common sense. You got to follow some basic guidelines. When you build it, you don't want people falling through it and getting hurt, obviously. Use proper structural lumber, use proper fasteners, use proper deck boards, and you'll be fine. For our basic deck here, I'm using pressure treated lumber. And pressure treated has changed a lot over the years. It used to be green. Now we got this new Sienna Brown. If you're gonna screw down a board and you're near the end, it's gonna split. So what I do is I just get a little bit of a start, I put it in reverse, and I hold it still and I screw backwards. Get a bit of a burn going, and then drive it forward. Guaranteed never to split. Deck boards are not gonna be straight. Close the gap. Done. And it's nice to have two people doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my boys out here. I'm gonna have them install the rest of these deck boards. Some weird weather we're having. Really weird weather. Remember that one time we did like that big deck? Oh, the one out in, uh, the one out? Out in carp or something? No, it is actually, had, it was it like with... a long time ago in Canada. We spent like a whole day just constantly doing this. That one was, uh, that was an interesting deck. That was a big deck for sure. How does Jeff make us do this? He tells me he gives me free lunch and money, so I come. That's basically, that's why we do it. This is going straight to the beer fund. Working yeah. for dad goes right to the beer fund. Yeah. So the way I see it is if I work here, I get free beer. That's why, uh, that's why I work here every day. New case every day. No, but working, working for the old boy, working for the old boy is great. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. That look over there. Pretty good? Yeah. Woo! It's rough on the back, eh? It's very sturdy now. Yeah, I kind of miss it. I mean, I'm gonna miss it more once it's brand new and renovated, but. Yeah, the whole old aspect of it, like the whole nostalgia bit is gonna be gone, eh? Yeah. The practicality of the old place doesn't make sense, but now that the city's moving out farther to it, it makes more sense. I don't know. I think it'd be nice to like be able to retire at a home like that. Just cause it's got like literally no one around you. I think so. Okay, I'm good on my end. I don't know, man. I was in the shower this morning and just all the experience from other jobs that I've had. Foundation, repairing foundations. I built foundations. I framed houses. I did drywall carpentry. So, like everything. Siding, Ikea furniture. I mean, I feel like my sales, sales techniques and skills plus knowledge of buildings and stuff might help out in that market. So I was just thinking about giving it a shot, doing some research, seeing what's out there. It's just an idea. Maybe owning a couple of properties, you know, traveling a bit. Ideally, like I want to try and create some passive income for myself, you know? I mean, doesn't everybody, everybody wants to. It's tough to, to do it though. I'm going back to school this year, which is dope. 
Gonna try to finish off my last two years. Nate, we gotta unscrew that. Why? Because it's not flush over here. We gotta be flush on this end, not there. Or, I mean, we it's one board. Yeah, it's one board. Okay. But, uh, you know. Just, uh... Just doing, I just got school on my mind right now. Criminal psychology and law. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. I can see you being a detective one day. I mean, that's the goal, but I mean, with what's going on around these days, it's kind of, it's demoralizing, you know? I mean, it kind of put a whole lot of dreams and wishes on hold too. Yeah. Waiting for the I sun mean, to come up. I mean, as much as I'd want to be like a detective, I don't think I'd want to have to go through what some of those guys have to go through on a daily basis, especially now. Yeah, shout out to all the detectives out there, man. You guys have a cool job. Nate, yeah. you got it ahead of us, buddy. The last board was too far this way. This one's way over the edge. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna make us rip up the board and put it back down. It's not gonna be too fired up about it. Not at all. Just, uh... I'd cut it with the saw, but then the end cap would look different. Unless we are putting a fascia. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll take this board out, and then we will put it on the last. Yeah, we have tons of boards left, so. It's not the end of the world, man. You need to yeah. pick up the pace. I think I got five screw lines, and you got the four. I mean, we're kind of just, nah, we're working at the same speed, man. No, you're slow. I'm slow. Let's try this again. If I'm going too slow for you, just take a break after every board or something. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Nate, quick guess, are we going to be short on the deck boards and if we are how, many, how much uh, do you think we're gonna be short by? We'll go by inches. Uh, I'm going three and a half. Two and three quarters. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh. Not done yet. Nope. Uh. Dad, we're short. Yeah, we are. Two and three quarters or what? I want three and a half. We're sure? That one has holes in it because uh, we were, yeah, we were. Okay. Still gonna use it. He said three and a half, I said two and three quarters. Mother goat. Mother goat, dude, that's dude. Mother goat, I like that. Yeah. Nate, kick the board in. Kick the board. Okay, measure that. No, 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 no. Right here, right off my foot, because that one's bowing out. Three inches! Seven eighths, you were over. Price is right rules, I win. Okay. Let's go. Fair enough. Let's go. Seriously, you're taking off? Bye, Nate, thanks for having fun. Nate, you're not gonna do the farewell wave at the end of the video as Buddy flies up like Peter Pan and... <laughs> You may or may not finish flush. Having an extra piece of lumber around, like a two by four, we just had an extra joist, I cut it down. Okay, you wanna lift that up? We're gonna put it nice and flush with the front. And we're gonna extend the deck a little bit, and we're gonna add our last board, finish off nice and flush. Ah, my pinky! It's a great way to put a hole in your hand. Here we go. Ooh. Can you get that flush from the there, buddy? Bada boom, bada bing. 
Okay, so now we got a ground surface deck. There's one other thing to talk about. This is quick, it's simple. It costs about $650 for all the wood and all the, all the hardware. And you get 120 square feet of living space, which is the size of the average dining room. So we're just gonna put the furniture on here and then stick around for the before and afters, okay? Just gonna blow your mind the transformation that happens with just a couple hours of work. Remember, if you have any questions about your particular situation, ask them in the comment section. If you need help designing your deck or anything like that, then feel free, join the membership program and enjoy the before and afters. What do you think? Mom's gonna like that? Hopefully. Oh, it's a little windy out here right now. But, oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, now that is much better, right? Eh? There's just something about being out of the dirt that makes a huge difference. Now, this is more like a staycation paradise. Yeah. It's simple, but sure. it's, it's gonna be comfy. It's nice. Yeah, and you know what? It's nice being not built up too high. Because we talked about making this a higher off the off the ground, but then we'd be seeing all the neighbors and everything they're yeah, up you to. Yeah, wouldn't want that. This is a nice level of privacy still. Very cool. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Stay tuned for the next edition of Reality Renovision. We're going to finish off renovating our 1880s farmhouse, which will be hard now that we have such a nice place to hang out. Difficult to go back to work. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Reality Renovision. If you're new to our channel, then I suggest you subscribe to the channel over here. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications so you'll be told every time a new video comes up. And if you'd like, you can click the link right here and you can binge watch all the episodes that we have on our playlist. Amazing information, everything DIY and decor and renovation and remodeling. Thanks for joining us.